Hi everyone, my name is Tristan and this is my final project. As you can tell, I decided to design and model my own single level pirate ship. The wheel and the rudder rotate about their fixed points and the entire assembly contains 8 parts with over 130 combined unique features. I drew inspiration from old fashioned Greek triremes and smaller vessels you might have seen sailing the seas during the golden age of piracy. Before I started doing anything in SolidWorks, I drew up a couple of sketches to perfect my whole mast, anchor, and bow designs. Though smaller, this vessel would be particularly menacing in terms of speed and maneuverability. When I first started drafting the keel in the hole in SolidWorks, I was worried all the curves would be difficult to represent. I quickly realized that splines and lofting would be my best friends in this venture. For simplicity's sake and to ensure symmetry, I completed half of the whole design, then mirrored it. After I was happy with the whole design in SolidWorks, I decided to procrastinate on the mast and design some other components. I'm very happy with the outcome of the wheel. Using sketches on more than six planes, I lofted one of the helm spokes and used a circular pattern replicated along the circumference of the wheel. I went through two designs of the cannons featured on the deck of the ship. The first was a quick assembly of the cannon and the wheels, but I realized that the cannon would not balance in the real world, so I spent quite a bit of time on a more modern and original take. Besides the cannons and the wheel, I decided to give the deck of the ship some life with barrels and crates for storage of food, rum, ammo, and other supplies. On top of those, I wanted to make a moving rudder. I felt a sharp, curvy look would complement the keel and bow of the ship. Finally, I decided to work on the masts, which were the most annoying to work on. I made sure the sails looked realistic and as if they were catching wind. On the main mast, I added a crow's nest to spot other vessels as well as a Jolly Roger flag to signify the fact that this is a pirate ship. For my simulation, I wanted to see how the whole of the ship would hold up against the full-speed cannonball. Before I began, I did some back-of-the-envelope calculations to determine how much force a cannonball impact would carry. Because a ship wouldn't be made out of a single piece of wood, I created a long, slender wooden beam that would most likely be used in the combination with others to form the whole of the ship. The cannonball would carry a force of 100 kilonewtons, impacted over an area of about 0.01 meters squared. This yields a pressure of 10.7 megapascals. The simulation shows that the planks would be devastatingly blown apart, as the point of impact experiences a stress three times the that of the yield strength. After I completed the assembly of the ship, I began playing around with SolidWorks built-in rendering tools. I quickly discovered I was not happy with the outcome of the final render, so I decided I was going to spend a while on creating a better render in Blender. I started with a non-finalized version of the ship and began a 12-hour trek into the heart of Blender with the help of YouTube tutorials and a good friend. In the grand scheme of things, I'm glad I spent the extra time in Blender to obtain a render I'm happy with, as the final outcome is frankly beautiful. Thanks for watching.